Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleagues. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You probably didn't hear that click because I got like a brand new one. It's super quiet, but I heard it. <laughs> no. been a really good area, huh? You get to see the love of your life every day. Last again in first rhyme, is it? Is he gonna get lost? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just gotta remind myself that next week I cannot do what I'm currently doing right now with this show. I have to watch it when I come home, even though I'm tired because I really don't wanna do four shows next week on one day. Like, that's already a hassle as is. Like, oof. Cause when I come home, I am very tired and I'm just like, ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also a little sad, too. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I was her, I'd be using the rest of this break to go to sleep. Obviously, but every day. <laughs> I just only wake up to like eat, take my dog out, whatever, and then I just go right back to sleep. Hmm. Oh, he's not. <laughs> he just wants to take a home. So, do you have plans tonight? Right? <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so. <laughs> ha, ha. 
The kid just automatically friend zones them. Oh my god. So mean. Don't talk about your sister like that. So what are you gonna do? Girl, really? A hundred and eight? <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. I thought we were drinking alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh, ain't that cute. Maybe he just gets a certain way when he's really drunk. So, I mean, like you said, he's just preparing himself. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, that was so cute. Oh, baby. <laughs> no, that's actual time. Gorgeous. But it does give the Phoenix vibe, of course.
No. You still drinking tea? Yeah, mailbox, moving boxes all over. Really? I mean, anything but work. We can't ask for romance. And then there were three. And then there were two. Happy New Year. Aww. Oh, he looks so cute. So handsome. Mm. Are you gonna try again? No. <laughs> oh, oh it was a nightmare, thank God. Gotta get ready.
we just say how it easy? It's so freaking easy to find him. Just look for the fireworks. <laughs> yes. Here she comes. <laughs> it would have been interesting if somebody said, oh, you already said that? You said that last night. Mm. <laughs> Wait, don't get distracted. Uh -uh. I hate the fact that I literally ate and now I'm sleepy and I want to take a nap. <laughs> Maybe a little nap after I'm done recording. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, he's already gone. <laughs> uh, I mean, mainly because what's your face right there? He falls like a third wheel. I mean, I would too. Just kiss. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, they they had a moment or two or three. Uh huh.
Oh, right. From you, of course. And you on at the same time. So, what are we wishing for? Goodbye. This was such a cute freaking office. I was like, oh my god. I, but I love how this was like, this, okay, every coupley moment in any episode is very coupley and cute AF. This one seeing them all get drunk, like, that was adorable. Very, very adorable. But like, yes, we need to have time to drink. Because I mean, yeah, it's the last of the new year. You're celebrating the whole year as a whole. You're your victories, your defeats, or hold on, your victories, your fails, everything. You're looking at everything that you did in a whole year. The good and bad and everything in between. And you're like, okay, the things that were good, you keep. And the thing... God, I'm sleepy. I always take it out. And the things that weren't the greatest, you try to do better in the next year. And so I, I thought that was really sweet that they all got together. And then they all band together and said, yeah, let's go to a shrine, even though Wester Face could not join because she had to work the next day. But the thing they are protected time from you. Oh, my God. Too freaking much. And then these two are main lovers. Like, uh, even every moment when they come get pushed together, it's just like, yes, kiss. You want to kiss each other. So just let it happen, damn it. Like, I, I need it. We're almost done with this show. So, let it happen. Okay, medium luck. Freaking want to take a nap of freaking allergies. Oh my god. Uh oh. Don't think that's good. That might, you know, coincide with baby's birthday. So I wonder how that's going to go. I mean, like, of course, it's obvious that number one, the next episode is going to be taking place in February. So I feel like we're going to get half of it being Valentine's Day and then the other half celebrating Fuyuski's birthday and such. And where Himino is going to try to not only get her Valentine's Day chocolates as a friend, quote unquote, but then also giving her a birthday gift. I mean, yeah, he gave her a really nice Christmas gift and such. And so now I want to see him step up and like give him, give her something even better than the Christmas gift. But really, who knows? Because yeah, he's a shy baby boy and I, I think he might get a little overwhelmed just as much as he was with the Christmas gift because at first, at, the earrings I thought were really sweet. It's like, okay, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. Okay, so let's go back to last month, apparently, Valentine's Day. I was talking to, or a couple of days before Valentine's Day, I was talking to, like, a group of friends and then um, listening to, like, podcasts and stuff. Depending on us as females, most of us want flowers and chocolate. And, and you know, maybe some dinner too, wine and dine us, and then, you know, hey, maybe we give you the cookie and such, right? Because that is the traditional thing, you know, yeah, you get this, you get the cookie in the end. Right? So, um, a couple of my friends agreed on that. 
some people who I talked about, though, are listened to in the podcast, they were like, well, if you give me jewelry, don't give me um, a heart necklace because it, quote unquote, it seems tacky. And it's, I mean, because, like, yeah, all the things, you could just get her, like, a necklace, a ring, whatever, some earrings and stuff. Um, but not no heart necklace. Like, I feel like when you give someone, and this is just my opinion, and some people have agreed on this, too. Um, you're letting the relationship die if you're giving someone a heart necklace. Like, I mean, yes, it's cute. Very, very cute. I mean, you know, my ex gave me, like, a, he gave me two things for Valentine's Day. It was a, it, it was a heart necklace, <laughs> but it wasn't like, it was a very abstract heart necklace. And then he gave me, um, a note with a bot with a, with a bottle and wrote and fake roses in it. And I thought that was really sweet. I thought that was like the cutest thing ever. Um, but I mean, yeah, like seriously, no matter what, I will take anything. If, even if you wanted to give me a heart necklace, I would be fine with that. I just, you know, I think most of us girls, we don't want something as cheesy as the heart necklace because a lot of us feel like you're making that relationship die. Like, I mean, damn. But yeah, once again, wine and dine us. Wine and dine us. Give us some, give us some good behind food because us girls, we like us some food. Give me, give me some wine. Give me some rosé. As hell, give me some sangria. Some nice good behind sangria. And then I said, I'm yours. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is my action Choice episode 9 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday. We mean it, honestly, <laughs> for episode 10. Bye, guys.